previously on Dirty Dishes. Three gourmet chefs from around the world compete to feed the renowned food critic Sir Chancelot the most disgusting dishes imaginable, while keeping the ingredients secret. The job of Sir Chancelot is to consume these dishes while trying to figure out what ingredients they contain. On the last episode, Chef Emery, representing America, prepared three American sliders, along with a secret sauce. Also, you may want to clean off uh, the... <laughs> now, Chef Max, representing Germany, takes the kitchen. I wonder what he will prepare. Well, two things for sure. I'm Morgan Freeman, and this is One Rigged Cooking Competition. We're rolling. Okay, well, I am going to fix a German food and try to ignore the loud crowd outside. So, what I am going to fix is, um, schnitzel. So, I w I'm going to cook some normal, but I'm going to do a funny prank for being. Max, you didn't tell me how heavy this camera was. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. I'm sorry. Uh, here's the thing, I still don't know how to make it, so I'm going to have to consult my recipe book, aka Google, um, for this. Uh, schnitzel. How do you smell schnitzel? I don't, I think this is a coffee bean scooper, but... Well, it's a hammer now. It's a hammer now. I do hope that that gets cut out. What? I thought this was Always go by my life motto. Um... Sans is my boyfriend, and anybody who touches him will have to go through me. Oh my god, Max. Can you turn that down? Look. Yes, I can. <laughs> down? That's up. So Max, what's the what's the catch? The catch? Yeah. What do you mean the catch? How are you gonna make it funny? We'll get there. Are you supposed to like shake the olive oil first? Well, this is special. Olive oil. Yeah, you're supposed to like completely. It's extra virgin. There's a joke to be made there. <laughs> There's a joke to be made there, but we're, you know, we're a little classier here on this yeah. first hand show. Yeah. Yeah. We we're supposed to dip it in the egg as well. Just pour some egg on it. But that's too much egg. You can see the gimmick with Max is, is that a. He just messes up cooking <laughs> yeah. it. Yes. Here's the thing. Instead of just cooking schnitzel, we're going to be cooking schnitzel with scrambled eggs, too. See? Ooh, <laughs> See that? Yummy. Scrambled eggs. You know what? I like that idea. He's going to get some scrambled eggs with it, too. Oh, my God. Gotta be done. <laughs> then this meal is just gonna be egg. But 
but mostly passable. See, just don't touch it. <laughs> the real, the real part of a schnitzel is what you serve it with. The real part of a schnitzel is the <laughs> excess. Yeah, we're gonna put that on the plate as well. <laughs> That's some coconut flakes on the schnitzel. It's probably not traditional, but it um. looks good. It looks like par we're gonna make him think that's Parmesan. Hello, everyone. My name is Stuart Stewie Gilligan Griffin, the flamboyant and eccentric one year old from Family Guy. It would appear that Emery did not realize that the camera stops recording automatically after 30 minutes, leaving much of the cooking off camera. Essentially, Max finished the pork, prepared a salad, and also made a simply horrid German drink out of milk and soy sauce. What an awful production! Who watches this crap? Wait, where's my bib, sir? Uh. You don't get a bib. This is not an American crawfish food. I don't think that's true. Why are you British? <laughs> What you have in front of you, Ben, is schnitzel with a salad and some scrambled eggs that I accidentally made. And to drink, you have some... Hold on, what's it, what's it called? Yeah. We forgot the name. It's, it's Fast Vatus, the non-alcoholic version. It looks That's... like chalky milk. It's yeah. Taco milk. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, not chalky milk. Guys, how Max made say, Ben talk so more, though. How do you say bon appetit in... Guten German. appetit. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but Good I use Google piece. Translate. I feel like this is just food. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> the thing that's wrong with it is I did terribly while well fixing it. I think you actually just cooked so a nice meal. You're not making it sound worse. <laughs> You're actually just cooking oh. a nice meal. I tried. I tried. Max. What is the whole point no, for this to be horrible stuff? The schnitzel supposed to be sweet? Isn't this cutting with the wrong side? <laughs> no, it's the right side. No, it's the left side. My name is Adam. I make the fun. Is this ketchup? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is just a nice meal. What else am I supposed to do? Oh, this is disgusting. <laughs> I feel like the chocolate milk is gonna happen. It's not that. chocolate milk. Here's some chocolate milk because you're epic. Ugh, what is that? <laughs> it's Worcester sauce! <laughs> no. It's, it is! <laughs> Fast Rabbits. Non alcoholic version. Well, I'm. Because <laughs> this is awful. Why is it not. That's some sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's non alcoholic chocolate milk. I wanted some chalky milk. I got some vinegar. <laughs> We got some tendies waiting for you, don't worry. <laughs> Where's my chicken nuggies? <laughs> no, I'm gonna have a little. I'm gonna sit by you. Hey, it's negative points. Good. It's supposed to be terrible. Come on, Max. Schnitzel is pork with egg, flour, and bread crumbs. You cannot call that egg. <laughs> egg. Fast Browse is actually milk with soy sauce. That's why it tastes so bad. Yes. Actually, well, does look like a chocolate milk. It does look like chocolate. Why? Why do you think I've been saying chocolate milk since we? No, we know that. <laughs> How much of this is getting edited out? All of it. I have one new Instagram follower. Nobody cares. Max, hey you guys, guys. Pork Thinny Taste Can out here, and I give this. Bad recipe is not good. And now, last but not least, our third contestant, Mr. France over here. What you got for us? Two things. J'ai oublié mes affaires et je suis malade, donc je ne veux pas uh, cuisiner. What does that mean? It means I forgot my crap and I, I'm, I'm too sick to cook and I don't want to kill anybody. 
How dare you? No risk. Well, folks, you know what we do to non-participating contestants over here? Est-ce que je mange le albacore surprise? If you're not cooking, you're eating. <laughs> no! Hmm. This has been quite the spectacle. But now, a loser must be selected. Selected to eat the final meal. The arbuckle surprise. Take it away, John. Hi, I'm John Arbuckle. My cat, well, he loves lasagna. That's why I've developed a recipe that's not only easy to make, but also comes from the heart. Of course, we use some traditional ingredients, but the passion? That comes in from our contemporary cooking techniques. First of all, you gotta combine your cheeses and eggs as usual, and then begin to cook the beef, but after a while, you won't really want your cat to feel that sweet spice of home, so you're gonna wanna pour in a bunch of cinnamon just to give your cat that good traditional sense of welcomeness. Next, the sauce. Now don't get me wrong, John Arbuckle here is the big fan of tomatoes, but the little thing about tomatoes, they aren't that energizing. That's why the Arbuckle Surprise uses PewDiePie flavored G Fuel to ensure that your cat is full of gaming. Then all you gotta do is just combine the sauce and the beef and cook thoroughly. Next, crush a bag of Takis into fine powder, then combine with some mayonnaise to create that perfect flavor palette for you and your furry friends to enjoy. Finally, just pour it all into lasagna form, adding your dairy-free pepper jack along the way, and then marinate overnight and bake until crispy. Wow, what a great meal, but hold on a second, you're not quite done yet, you see. There's a secret ingredient that really makes Garfield just go bonkers over his lasagna. Apply to the lasagna and congratulations! You've created the perfect meal for you and your furry family to enjoy together. Because remember, it's not about the food. It's about the love. If you've made this far into the video, you probably tell that uh, there's been some mishaps along the way. And uh, for that reason, we all have to eat the Arbuckle Surprise. Do good, folks. Bon appetit. You can see the meat's a bit underdone at some places, but yeah. it smells like um, dog food. Is it dog food? I swear to God, it's not dog food. food. It's dog Stop food. saying that. <laughs> it looks good. Mmm. Why yeah, is it sugar? Is it ketchup? What's in it? I don't know. That's really sugary. What are, what are some guesses? It's related to uh, the lasagna. Tomato paste. No. Ketchup. Sriracha. No. Nope. I don't like this. Yeah, no, this is awful. <laughs> What is oh, it's almost like that was the point of the video. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, but wow. I mean, you failed. Are you guys done guessing? Yeah. You Wait. want the big reveal? Yeah. yeah. Has everyone eaten what yeah, is it? at least enough of it so that yes. you're going to be disgusted? With yes. It? So the beef was fried with cinnamon. Oh, that explains oh. that. Okay. No, and then into the sauce I poured. PewDiePie oh my flavor. God, I knew it! <laughs> PewDiePie flavored G Fuel in the lasagna. <laughs> I'm unsubscribing to your channel. I so like the red. The, to be honest, to be honest, I expected worse. Anyway, I'm not done. Oh. You don't know what you've eaten. Oh. And then I put those Takis, uh, mix it in with a big, big old thing of mayonnaise. I stir oh, it hey, up, you. and then I yeah. sort of paste that mayonnaise. into the meat. And then the cheese. Uh, it's all vegan pepper jack. That's the There's worst no part. Dairy. So what is it? It's vegan cheese. Mm. How do you make vegan what? cheese? That doesn't exist. Yeah. You guys haven't even heard the best part. Mm. The garnish. The little crumbs around it. That was, uh, shredded cat food. 
I freaking knew it. I knew it was animal food. I swear to God, I'm doing as much as I can to not swear right That's now. That's why Garfield loves his lasagna so can you, can you... What do you have to save yourself, man? <laughs> You're on my page! <laughs> That's all, folks. This video's never seen in the line. <laughs> I mean, this pork is pretty good. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life! Ugh! Get it away from me, man! My name Jeff. Do the Chonker Shuffle.